Hello and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Today we're going to talk a little bit about particles. Now, before we start, I'm going to do a little self promotion. You can always go to form.nistic.com to view the latest renders, the latest news, or ask any questions you have. Um, once you register, you can go to the Blender. 3D categories, and there's also a lot of other categories that you can post in, just to have fun. And there are several uh, posts to help you, like the Blender FAQ. And, for example, one of the benefits of um, registering and posting is that um, you can suggest tutorials, and they're more likely to get done than if you just suggested it in a comment. So, for example, in skyscraper city a user um, suggested that I made a tutorial um, so he can win particles and he I said I haven't and um, that's what I'm doing right now so let's get started on our tutorial I have blender open here with our default cube um, I'm gonna hit control X to erase all get back to the original settings I was playing with it a little bit before. Now, um, usually we started using our default cube, but today we're just going to hit X, reselected objects to delete our cube. We don't need it today. Hit space, add mesh, plane, and hit tab to get out of edit mode into object mode. So now we have our plane, which I'll go ahead and rotate and show you now and what we're gonna do is go all the way down here to where it says object you can also press S7 or F7 sorry and then we'll go over here to the physics button and you click on that and you can see that particles has its own little, little window little tab over here which I can make smaller or bigger I'm gonna hit new and a bunch of options appear we have two tabs full with options so right now I'm gonna sorta using alt and holding the left mouse button sorta get this uh, plane into view and I'm gonna hit alt A as you can see um, when I hit alt A that starts the animation um, the plane is populated with tiny little dots or particles. Now you can sort of see they're like kind of twinkling like stars there. And we can change a lot of options to make them do different things. So right now it's sort of just resting and sparkling on the plane. If I was to hit escape to stop the animation, you can go down here and click particle motion. And normal. I can increase that and get that gives the particle a little velocity, a little starting speed. So if I hit Alt A, the fly out of the plane. If I hit Escape, I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller, something a, a small number. You can see they don't go as far, and they just sort of dissipate up here. So we have several options like I said before, um, the change about these particles. Um, first one I just showed you here is the normal, the uh, initial velocity we give it. Um, we can also give it a random option. When we increase that, it goes off in random directions. As you can see here, particles are just flying everywhere. Um, you can modify this um, to look more like a fire, you see. I'm just sort of flying out there and rising up. So I'm going to hit X. And then you can set the different forces you want and customize them. See, they're sort of going to the negative X direction, which is that way. So it looks sort of like they're blowing in the wind, um, to me at least. And you can um, modify these on all the axes, so I can have it go a little bit down. See how it's sort of dissipating down there. So 
You can also do more things with this in the particles section here. Um, there's amount, which increases the amount of particles. Pretty self explanatory. So if I can increase this to like 3,800, there's a whole lot more particles that come out of that plane. And then you can also set the life. Right now it was at 50. If I put this to 1, you can see they don't even get out of the plane. They just have a short lifespan there. But if we put it to something like 200, 218, this thing is just going to keep on going. And they're not going to disappear as quick as they would if I set it for something smaller. So you can really play with these options here, like start of the um, particles, or end. This is in frames, so I can increase this to uh, 236. The animation is set to run for a total of 250 frames. So if I hit Alt-A, then the particles will just keep on emitting, keep on emitting, to just about the end of the... 250 frames. See how they stop right there. And we'll just keep, it's doing it in a loop, so we'll just keep on repeating. And you can also render this off as an animation to see these particles um, in a rendered form. And you can also apply um, materials to, to particles, which I'll get into a little bit later. It's a little bit more complicated. But I hope from this tutorial you learned a little bit um, about particles and how to get to them the different um, options that particles have they have amounts you can set the life of the particle hit escape you can make them split out in random directions by modifying the random property or the normal giving it a little bit more velocity to shoot out there or just sort of just go out there with not a much velocity or you can set different forces if you want uh, particles to go in a certain direction. So, I hope to see you in the next tutorial, and I hope you learned something. Bye.